so let's talk about um, the uh, Trump rally in Georgia, ostensibly to support Kelly Leffler and um, and David Perdue in their race and their runoff on January 5th. Um, you got to wonder, like, if they walked off stage and said, well, it could have been worse. Uh, I mean, because they were terrified, right? Like they he could have not know, mentioned like, us how, at all. How but he much talked yeah. about us for 30 seconds. That was something. Here is uh, here is them uh, when Leffler and Purdue joined Trump on stage. Listen to the just the overwhelming excitement about these two on stage. We need you to vote January 5th. If you're our voice on January 5th, we'll be your voice for years. We have to make sure that we keep America strong. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know what? My colleague, David Perdue, my good friend, wants to make sure that you vote. We are going to vote because if we don't vote, we will lose the country. If we vote, we will win. Hey, guys, I want to take liberty just one second. I want to say something personal to President Trump. Hey, guys, I want to say something for President Trump personally. Guys, I want to say something personal for President Trump. God bless you. We love you, Mr. President. We love the First Lady. And we're going to fight and win those two seats and make sure you get a fair, square deal in the state of Georgia. God bless you, Mr. President. That'll do. Oh my God! They were up there for that. Oh, was thank easy. you very much. That was it. Wow! So wow. they're screaming or well, chanting we "Fight for Trump." That. How, how? That's unbelievable. You see how much he was laughing. Fight for Trump. Fight for Trump. He is so psyched. He is loving this. Yeah. Did you Fight see for the Trump. smile on his face? When Purdue was trying to talk to him mm -hmm. and all it was just fight for Trump was was drowning out like Purdue's like, please, I'm going to say something nice to the president, please. Please. And I love Melania. <laughs> I love you. I love her in a platonic way. Please just give me more support. Channel this. Just spend 30 more seconds on trying to encourage people to come out to vote. Just did a you little see at bit one point two where he where they started in that chant at the end of what Leffler was saying. And he starts doing this like he catches himself yeah because he's doing the like yes fight for trump fight for trump with his fist and then he realizes like oh wait a second i'm, I'm supposed to pretend like i'm and you know i mean just just to make it clear any other politician in the world in that situation who is sent there ostensibly to help them going like would would hold up their hands and say they are fighting for me. These two are exactly right. who we need to have. <laughs> like, I'm just giving an example of like what a normal human being who, I mean, I don't consider necessarily politicians and normal human beings. Like, you know, maybe, you know, but even a in that context. A normal politician. A normal, yes. yes. Would somebody... you simply say, you know, hey, take it easy, guys. I appreciate the support. But these guys are the guys who are fighting for me, you know, because that's uh, ostensibly why you're there. Yeah, I mean, well, he, there's a way to bask in that too if you do it correctly, but Trump can't even go there. No. Yeah, well, that would get in the way of him being the main story. I mean, this is one step away from what he did to Martha McSally, which still is one of my favorite Trump 2020 moments when he <laughs> when he said, "Come on, Martha, nobody wants to hear from you, Martha. They really only want to hear from me. Hurry up, hurry up, Martha." I mean, the unmanning obviously she's a woman but figuratively um of these of these senators it's amazing and so all they can do as the crowd is yelling at them to fight for trump and um overturn the democratically elected president joe biden is praise his family like how small how small does that make you feel it's pathetic pathetic they're awesome. they're at the the whims of this idiot, this man child, this complete narcissist, and they just have to suck it up and take it. I mean, yep. it's debasing. Uh, and and hopefully it is um, more importantly. I mean, I I enjoy watching uh, Republican senators get uh, humiliated, but more importantly, hopefully it is um, demoralizing 
right. for their voters. Hopefully it um, it suppresses, you know, and this is frankly <clears throat> on some level, like this is um, this is the work that Democrats should have had to do, um, you know, should have actively pursued over the past two years, which is to sort of like force these, you know, force those people who don't want to be close to Trump, be close to Trump and throw uh, lob grenades in, um, not literally, but, you know, draw, uh, drop uh, political grenades in between where people are hugging uh, Trump closely. I mean, this is the way, um, because you can see that at one point, like it's the opportunity for it to go sideways is really intense. And we saw it with McSally. Um, let's play, um, <laughs> uh, let's go to uh, the IM for a moment. Uh, Emma's list of facts about Rudy uh, really hurt the right's feelings. Emma the Worm Vigland is a worthy and appropriate successor to Dennis the Worm Rodman. Uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't know where you were going with that, but, that's but yeah, Sam's I mean, sweater daddy. Um, here's uh, Ban Don Gino quote Maybe once Emma takes down the mob, she'll have earned the right to say who can fart in court. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, I know. I don't have the the cloud. I'm not America's mayor, so you got to take down the mob before you can say who's uh who has the right to fart. I mean, that's um 